means. I mean to tell you. Where do they come from? It seems like I dreamed all night long. I can't remember any of them. I just know they were weird. And they usually are. How many dreams have you had in your life that weren't weird? And where do we go? We have to go somewhere. Weirdville, the planet weird, I don't know. I do know there are so many different kinds of dreams and I've had them all. Oh, I've had them all. And man, last night, and it wasn't just last night. I took a nap yesterday. And I'm trying not to take naps anymore. But I did. And there were some weird dreams in that. And it seems like my naps, that's when the weirdest dreams come. Uh, yeah, you know, you can't even make this stuff up. It's so weird. But then I've had these dreams where, uh, especially when I... Before I bought this place, and I was living in the fifth wheel, and I've lived in the fifth wheel a good couple of years after I bought this property. I don't know what it was about that thing, that it's a big metal box, but I had the weirdest dreams in that fifth wheel that I have ever had in my life. Some good, some bad. Uh, one that comes to mind. Two that come to mind. And the first one was... I, I, f I had the feeling, uh, you know, it was kind of vivid when I woke up. Now that the years have gone on, I've kind of forgot some of the details. But in other words, I was being held against my will and terrified. And that's something a man don't usually say. But it was, have you ever had the dream where you can't scream, you can't speak, you can't move, you're paralyzed? It's sleep paralysis is, I think, what they have the term for. And I've had that several times. Uh, I wouldn't say so often it's an issue, but I have had that happen to me more than once. And it is awful. It is awful. And most times I wake up, fists going in the air, uh, screaming. A lot of people have had these dreams. They are not fun ones to have. And usually when you wake up after one, you ain't going back to sleep. Uh, because you're traumatized by a dream. So, uh, you know, I have really studied up on that. And, you know, you know, you, you know, everybody's got their ideas what dreams are. But they don't really, really know. People don't really know what they are. I don't care what you say. So that's one type of dream that I don't care for. And the other type of dream, you, have you ever had the fallen? Where you're fallen? And they say if you don't wake up, you die. I've had those many times, mostly when I was younger. I haven't, I haven't had one of them in a while. Uh, now I sleep in a recliner, so it's kind of hard to fall out of a recliner. Although I have tipped the recliner over. Uh, I've woke up that way. I don't know how that happened. Uh, I don't have that recliner anymore, but that was during a nap. But yeah. And then the strangest kind of dream... And I've had these many, 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 many times. Uh, some people call it deja vu. I remember I, I, in, in most of those dreams, you will see this, you will go to this dream more than one time, over and over. And, and it could be a place, it could be a person, it could be a situation. And then it happens. And when you see it, you know. But you get that feeling, I've been here before. I've seen this before. I've done this. One example is um, I had a grandmother lived in Decatur, Illinois. And I had always had this dream, and it never made sense to me. It was like a, a two-story building, probably built in the 1800s, a wooden structure. It was a bar. Although in the, in the dream, it, I don't know what it was, but it was I kept seeing this building... And it had like a wagon wheel decoration on the property. A uh, great big parking lot, gravel parking lot. And so I'm driving through Decatur, Illinois. 
and I see this building and it's exact same one and it just it it freaked me out man it, and I had to turn around and drive back and there's the wagon wheel there's the large gravel parking lot the exact same building I seen I had the dream so many times I knew it like the back of my hand and so why what significance that ever had for anything I don't know uh, it was a bar it was a bar and grill and I wouldn't I didn't go in there uh, but that was strange another one I kept having and this was when I was living in the fifth wheel I was actually in a town about 30 miles from here and I was I don't know I, I was playing the I mean I, I didn't know where I was going to end up what I was gonna if I was gonna buy a house what I was I, I, my dream was to buy a piece of property out here and I kept seeing a long driveway with a funky looking tree as you turn into the driveway and so when this place came up uh, when I actually found this place as I pulled in that tree at the corner of the driveway is the exact tree that I'd been seeing in these dreams premonitions whatever you want to call them and the driveway was identical identical to the dream never saw the house in the dream all I saw over and over was this driveway and this tree and that tree's unique because it's got a whole bunch of privet and weeds at the bottom I've been hacking at that stuff for 10 years can't get rid of it uh, and it's it's exact same tree and driveway so maybe that was something telling me hey when you find this place buy it I don't know I don't know and then you have dreams that you're with people that you don't you've never met you've never seen before and you, you're probably never going to meet them and I, what what are we doing when we dream are we leaving our bodies and mingling with some people that are no longer here or people that are here that are in the same dreamland what's your idea on that because dreams are definitely a trip and I don't do drugs you know when I drink I don't dream I never dreamed when I drank so I don't understand you know what what's going on in the old brain or is it your brain or is it your your soul leaving out has to get out of that body for a rest every now and then and you're going to mingle with these and, and a lot of these people are strange man they are strange why is my monitor going off and then back on did y'all see that flash of light it's never done that it just went off and back on nothing else went off am i am i am i talking about something i shouldn't i don't know am i being abducted by aliens i don't i don't believe that um but rooster has woken me up several times i don't know if it's dreaming Maybe I stop breathing. Who knows what I, what she, but she senses and picks up on that and wakes me up. That's my little dog if you're new to the channel. She's unique. Her name is Rooster. Yep, she's a girl. So I don't know. Comment in the link or the description or the comments below. Tell me some of your weird dreams and have you ever had the deja vu dream? And that's happened to me more than one time, more than those two times. Uh, and they say that if you if you go to a certain place and you feel like you've been there before you know maybe you've seen that in your dream I don't know and, and some of these dreams you're I had one dream I'm driving some contraption I've never seen in my life that doesn't even exist um, it wasn't my bicycle I don't know it's, it's just hard to explain <laughs> maybe I've seen too many sci-fi movies um, man ain't no telling but I hate the dreams where you're you can't move you feel like you're you're tied up and there was one I it was a non-human figure in the dream a non-human that's all I'll say because you know the creature was conjured up in my mind I imagine but that was one of them tying up dreams and I was in the fifth wheel when that one happened that one was I could not go back to sleep 
and I probably, it was probably three in the morning. They always seem to happen around between one in the morning and three in the morning. And actually, they're t they say, they say, when you dream, it's only for a few seconds. But why does it seem like it's an eternity? And another kind of dream, we've all had these where you're doing something, you're having so much fun, and you wake up, and you're pissed. You want to go back to that dream. Okay, you get up, you go to the bathroom, you get whatever, drink of water, and you go back, and you got that last image of that dream in your mind. And you're... You can't remember how to get back there. And you want to be so bad, you want to be in that dream so bad, but it's gone. That's cruel, man. The dream masters. I'm telling you, they're screwing you. They're screwing with you. All right, guys. Well, didn't have a topic, and I, I had weird dreams last night. And I said, well, let's, let's talk about dreams, man. Everybody has dreams. Some people don't have dreams. I don't know what that'd be like. But if you don't have dreams, let, let me know. If you've never had a dream, there's something wrong with you. We're going to get you scheduled for an appointment. Or we're going we're gonna to get you on something that will give you dreams. I think peyote will do that. Mm -hmm. we got to get you fixed up because if you ain't dreamed, you ain't lived. And if you, if you ain't dreamed about it, yeah, I don't think you've ever lived. Thanks for watching, guys. Happy trails.